Wednesday, January 10th, 2024 Written by Julius Mwangi Psalm 69 Save me, O Lord, for the waters have come up to my neck. For the past few weeks, we have experienced extreme rainfall in our country, Kenya. This has resulted in death, displacement, and destruction of property. This is a natural disaster that a man can do very little to prevent. The government is trying to save lives, but they are still overwhelmed, and people are still washed by the waters. In Psalm 69, the psalmist has found himself overwhelmed by heavy floods. He realizes it is only God who can save him, and that is why he is crying to God for help. In our day-to-day -day lives, we have found ourselves in the midst of flooding waters and raging storms that almost kill us. But these tragedies have not been the final word in our lives. God has always been there to uplift us, and our final words have been those of victory, where we come out praising God. Psalm 69, verse 33, The Lord hears the needy and does not despise his captive people. As a gay Christian man in a rural area, my greatest fear was being outed. I never had the confidence to come out by myself because of the dangers that are involved. There is no bigger tragedy in Kenya than being an out gay. Even if you are abused, nobody cares. You cannot report to the police because they will abuse you more there while being locked up. We live here by the grace of God, and I can testify that the grace of God has been sufficient to me. Isaiah 41, verse 14, Do not be afraid. You worm, Jacob, little Israel, do not fear. For I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. God is assuring us that despite our delicate condition, he is there to help us. A worm is an insect that can easily be crushed, but God is transforming it into a threshing sledge that will crush mountains. God's assurance is for us too today. We have mountains in our lives as LGBTQ plus persons. We are marginalized to the extent a former president called us a non-issue. Destruction waves are so loud in our lives, but this Advent, God is assuring us that we will not be crushed. No obstacle is too big for God. He is with us all the time to protect us. Isaiah 41 verse 17, The poor and needy search for water, but there is none. Their tongues are parched with thirst, but I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. When I joined our local LGBTQ plus fellowship, I found souls that were thirsty for God. For us to find this community of worshippers is proof enough that God provides, even in the desert. For many years I had lived imagining I was the only gay man in our area. I had longed to meet people who would understand and relate with me, but see how God surprises his loved ones. I am here writing this Advent. My prayer is that we may be blessed and know that God wants to hold our hand.